Well guys, we're here for the media day for the finals weekend. Looking forward to that. Uh, it should be a pretty fun day. Tundra versus Entity? Did you think Entity was going to beat him? 50-50. You thought 50-50? I don't know. You're European, bro. You, you are European. I'm, I'm definitely not. You're European. I don't even have a visa. I can show you my passport. I don't know. A year in Europe? Three majors in Europe? That doesn't really sound like NA to me. I don't know. Why, why didn't you get three majors for NA? I tried. It's so unlucky, bro. It's unlucky. <laughs> the region's cursed, bro. Y'all are breaking the curse. It's cursed. It's cursed. If you, you're trying to feed Snap the curse in necklace. Yeah. We had to merge it back together. We have to do America's. That's just doing America's run. Including a C where we are literally team diversity. Yeah, you want Brazilian? This guy's the only actual American. This guy's Mexican. We have a Peruvian. This guy's and, Brazilian. Not actually and we have a Chinese. Chinese. That's, that's, team diversity. That's, that's, that's America right there. Yeah, America. We got some Portuguese discussions, we got some Spanish discussions after the game, we got some English. I, I, saw, I saw your Mandarin interview on the Chinese street yeah, Factory boss. Yeah. Russian. You can speak Russian? You can speak, yeah, our Mandarin is Russian. Yeah. Literally, yeah. Team what, what else do we need? We got it all. There he is. Woo! Hector! This is Gaming, where you can play and earn rewards for your gaming achievements. And with an active marketplace, events, new game releases. Download Gaming now and start winning today. Gaming, no gamer left behind. Yeah, we're all feeling pretty good. I think we're all proud of how we played. First game yesterday, it was very, very long, and, and we're all feeling really good that we're going through and we get to play in, at the Climate Pledge Arena. That should be really fun especially for all of us that haven't played there. I think Ace and Quinn have played there in the past, but for Tofu, Derecho and me, it's the first time. Uh, we were really happy when we qualified for the finals. Also, just because we feel like we got some good momentum going. We've been playing, we played well uh, that day. All wins, no losses. The weird part is that now we have, like, as I said, we got really good momentum going, but now there's like five days break, and I hope we can keep that momentum uh, alive. Uh, I've never actually tried a tournament like that before, but yeah, we'll see. How are you feeling about playing against Nouns later? I think it's gonna be some cool games. I think they have some good momentum going on right now, and we just want to do our best against any opponent. We definitely don't want to do any mistake of uh, underestimating Nouns. We're good, I think we're gonna do well. Uh, yeah, so our next game is against Nouns. We don't have any special preparation we're gonna do. We'll just keep on going. We we're kinda tired yesterday, we just went to sleep, and now we're here at the media day, because our plan is to just play really good try to win the tournament so for now we'll look at the drafts you know but i think we're pretty good at this because we have a really good atmosphere and we enjoy playing together so I think it's gonna be good so they're gonna see how cool i look yeah are you tofu yep. i'm there you want to check yeah no are you sure yeah <laughs> it's gonna be a minute they're, they're... really cool. I think this is the, the media day that I've been at which has been like most professional and look the coolest. It's almost like a real film studio it feels like. It feels really professional. Like I think it's really cool. What is he doing? <laughs> what is super doing? close. Where have you been? I did some interview up there. Sophie, what do you think of the media production in there? It's so fucking cool man. You guys need to see this. Yeah. 
Yeah. You want the real thing, boys. We went on the wagon bar. What's that? I'm to have one on the Why wouldn't you? Eat some cereal out of it. Whatever. That's a box more than a small wagon Is it enough on nouns though to and ready to go? This is a memory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mosquito, we're, we're giving them no space, so we're basically drowning them out. While we farm all inside of the map. A lot of extra damage and take ability coming out, and you don't have Rolling Thunder control. This axe is gonna do work. You like Quinn get to it for free here. Oh, jump onto the two of them oh, with the bad. double ravage with the meteor. What an opportunity from Ace. Gaming Gladiators made the read, and now they know they're outside of position here. They're being going to pounce on it. Daddy. Gaming Gladiators read you like a book, and they will slam that book shut. The man has led you very far. He'll continue to lead you farther here. Once again, it's under you, Gunner. He just has to go in, but shred it. Yeah, game one in the books here with a very, very fast Chen lineup from gaming. And if you're now, as you're going into game two, you're thinking, how do we slow this team down? I'm 
buyback Which buyback, bro? <laughs> they don't have buyback Just kill them Like they feel bad Just like Just run under the fun Take it chill Like this game's over We can end it now Or we wait 20 seconds or something <laughs> And you just like Insta died All of them yeah. Classic They got fucking Weaver and squashed Okay, guys, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. 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 Ok
so fucking good. I was trying to get it. I was like, holy fuck, that's funny. Press off! Oh, I think Spurberg got this game could have fucked. Yeah. Don't forget some funny moments. Sometimes he blinks in and he's not in toss range, and you don't ever let him. He's like, ah, so we can get him. What the fuck? He's like, I feel to be back on the main stage. So it's pretty cool. The stage is really cool. A lot of people. It's like a full uh, arena. It's pretty cool. It feels good. And how's the booth like in there? Can you hear anything? What's the temperature like in there? Uh, game one it was giga cold, but then we just told them it's giga cold. So game two was giga hot. And is, is this the kind of Dota you want to play? How's the atmosphere feel like? I mean, it was really good games. We had good draft. Uh, everything went pretty smooth. So. It was all good. Do you have any feedback regarding what you what you feel about the NAM series? I think that everything was just smooth. We had good preparation. The our draft was like pretty perfect, I would say. Yeah, it just went smooth. Like everything was perfect. I think. Do you have anything to say about Team Spirit or Liquid or whoever you're gonna face? Tomorrow is gonna be against some of the big dogs. We played twice, yeah. Mm, one really early game and then one really giga late game. So we probably gonna have to nap in between. <laughs> get up early, go back, and get some sleep, and then play again later. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. You can expect some uh, aggressive Dota. I feel like we are on some aggressive style right now, and uh, we we have some good momentum now. I don't know. But you always have this moment where you forget to use the avalanche. It's like not in range. Ah, never mind. What is dark to you? Could just avalanche it, right? How do you think you played against Nams today? I think pretty good. There was a little slip up in the second game with the Tiny, but uh, now it's also a good team, right? So I think overall pretty good. Also, I think we played our game pretty well with how we want to play and how we talked about it before. And I also feel very calm in the games. I think that was the main factor that like everyone keeps us cool and to kind of make sure that we don't go too ham and like everyone keeps composure. And how does it feel to be back on the main stage? Honestly, it wasn't as hype as I thought in the beginning, because like you can imagine, right, and then maybe get some nerves and walk out there. But those booths are like super soundproof, so you actually almost don't hear anything. And then like you get in the, so the zone, right, you play. Then after the cheers, the crowd, uh, some hand claps, some um, picture, signature, interview, that's pretty cool. But while playing, you actually don't really feel it much. So overall, it's pretty cool. And like stage is always nice, but it's also really well made that we can actually focus on the games. And what do you think of the TI12 opening ceremony? I mean, I kind of just watched it on my phone because we were backstage for the walk in, so I didn't see much. But from yesterday, what we see, saw in the rehearsal is like super epic, and you could also hear the crowd going wild. So it's definitely some good stuff. Might watch it later again. Yeah. And one last question Who do you want to face next? Who I want to face next? I don't fucking care. We'll smash them. Shooting him one compliment, so maybe he buffs my Ada lens again. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I thought you were gonna ask about some. Uh... Yeah, I have to ask him okay. some Six. He's one of us. He's one of us. He kind of is, but I mean, I never left you guys. Good interview. You want it? What do you want? Oh, and I don't know. Packages? Wait, is this just... Are you going to even take a knife? Wait, is this just a gift or is this like the entrance badge? Oh, I mean, the extra money? 
I can use the code. Go ahead. I have no idea what to do with the code. It's basically... The cutter drop. The cutter drop. You get credit for something. Yeah, basically, you can lock in your Steam account, like the game platform where we play Dota on, and then you get in-game in -game drops. But since you don't play the game... It's a tough way, trust. Thanks. Good game. Okay, I need to do this quick because at the beginning of every game you have the chance to get some. Oh, go on. I'll give my brother. He's got, he's got one too. Yeah, I think she's about the nouns game. Oh, I think it's great. Like, um, fast, swift games, uh, straightforward. Let's go, man. GG all the way. Nice. Have you been to any TIs before? Um, previously, no, frankly. This is my first TI. Yeah. Um, what, what do you, how do you think the, the boy performed today? Oh, I think as always, uh, this is a gladiator flavored uh, game, right? Like fast, swift, and then um, they end the game so quickly, it is uh, very entertaining to watch. How long have you been at GG from? Uh, I think one year since we are partners for one year, right? Gaming Chain and uh, Gaming Gladiators. So yeah. Keep it from memory, man. You usually cut if you want, I don't know. Oh, is it? Yeah, if you want. Keep it from memory. We will do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think tomorrow? We're gonna make the miracle run, the lower bracket run. I think we are, quote unquote, all the way. All, all the way. way. Why? I actually booked my departing flight Monday, knowing that we're gonna be here till Sunday. Let's go. Let's go. Get him back. Get him back. Get him back. <laughs> Insta win. I knew it. That was a win. That was a beat down. A stomping. It was. It was true. After those three new ones, this guy knows. This guy knows. I saw those He's three. He knows for so long. He fucking knows. He knows it, man. I know. I know what they like. I know the heroes. I've seen this guy on that tiny. I said, yeah, he's good. You, 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 you saw, you heard me, I said, I, I looked at you, she's been happy, I looked at you. And then every time you threw someone back, he looked at me and went, <laughs> I was like, I told you. When he gets on that tiny, it's over. It's over.
finals for TI tomorrow. What's your opinion, man? Uh, from upper brackets, I believe it will be LGD. Yeah, fair. And from lower brackets, I hope it will be... One of these teams. Hopefully one of these teams. Yeah, yeah. Like either Gaming Gladiators or Team Liquid. You can honestly see why is that CK. Who is your favorite player from GG? Uh, I like the Russia the most. Why is that? I think he's just a good carry player. And what do you think of the GG draft against Liquid? Uh, I think they have a very good draft, very aggressive line. Yeah, I think they have very strong lanes as well. I think they're going to win this. It's going to be an aggro Sean contest now. This is pretty damn difficult because your opportunity to find supports on the back line and start on them is very limited around this pit. Celery deep in the corner. How do you get this anyway. guy out of here? What beautiful a torn. Torn, though. It's yeah, everybody. On three, that's beautiful, but immediately the BKB going up. They are doing a lot of damage. The Necropros is getting low. Can they finish? Oh, side. Oh, oh, and it's just cleaning up with the glaze. Gaming Gladiators, they thought we are too strong to be beat right now. Save on the lane that will sit there and allow you to go pressure the enemy mid. Oh, that's a fast reel. Let's go. I like that. Hello, everybody. I am here with CY from Gaming Gladiators. Give it up for the boys. You see this, sir? I have questions here. Uh, they're all gone after I see that last pick, Razor, going down to the end of the reserve time. As Matu said on the panel, garbage hero. But pretty good this game. How are you feeling about it? I mean, I feel pretty good about it. Like, sometimes you can't fix, like, it's a good lane against Tide, also historically. Sometimes you can't fix these kind of problems with bad heroes. So I think Razor is an okay hero. It's not an OP hero by any means, but if Tide has a really bad game, I think it's, it's pretty good for us. Okay, well, I'm sure the team trusts themselves very much as well. This might be the last time that we get to talk to you. I hope not, though. So any words out there? I'm not, come, come on, I'm just saying. Any words out there to the fans? This won't be the last time. It better not! Way, trying to pull Jirachu out of position, almost got him, but he pushed a little bit over to the side instead. Harpoon pulling in the Kunkka. It's now a minute rolling. Follow this one up. He has no BKB. You gotta remember. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna be he needs to die straight up immediately. Now Liquid left in four versus oh, five. No, he's, he's gonna stand his ground, but Quinn, what a hit on through with a swashbuckle almost finishing up. The Radiant's gonna run down Mickey on his first life. Yeah, absolutely. However, of Liquid, they are absolutely gonna be losing four here, and absolutely nothing claimed on the side of Liquid. Duracho, he is just gonna run in. He Man does not give a damn. But he gets ravaged! Or does and they he? burst him down in time. The Rolling Thunder is gonna try and stop things, and Duracho gets off his BKB. Now he's gonna be able to fight back. Mickey forcing forward, trying to put the damage onto Duracho, but underneath the Supernova, the Dragon Side back into it, and Mickey has to start running away, but the bear is on the other side. Clean it house. Sandwiches Liquid in this, and they are done for in this fight. They cannot stop the bear. Last on GG! Last on GG! Liquid, another utter disaster. Zai puts himself on the front lines there, immediately gonna pounce onto him. Seeing if they can chase him down, slow him down, pull him back in as much as possible. They're trying to reset. Feel my power. 
So they reset. are fully resetting off this one. The refresh immediately put to use. Taracho. Oh, he's command gonna fight. One fight against Big A. He's going to be able to win it. He is. No problems there whatsoever. And he doesn't give a damn about your water park ride, Mr. Kunkka. He's going to fight through this one. Oh, the Ravage coming up. He's going to maybe be. Still alive. He gets a little bit of life going out, but Taracho is still up. The last little bit of damage coming out from Insania is not going to be enough. We're going to hit a game three between these two teams. An absolute beauty of a series right now as gaming strike back. I told you, game three, man. I told you, game three. Game three, game three it is. Game three it is. That's it. And it didn't have that out. Reset. Glider mentality, never give up. Nice. Versus the backline heroes of Liquid, it also would have been a way to pressure the Terror Blade. But this Void Spirit is a Quinn specialty hero oh, yeah. from the days of old. The hero has fallen off. I don't know, like Murta, like he's always been killing it on Murta with, with his slows. And uh, Quinn's been able to just, he's been really just been able to juke and dodge out like a bunch of uh, engages. I, I, I think that they're, they're, they're set up for, for late game a lot better. And I think that they got it. I think they got game three so far. I really hope, and I think if they continue like this, they could win all of the ice. You know what I mean? So that's really dope. They, 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 they're on a crazy loser's record run already. So why not continue it? You know what I mean? Hey, 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 GG's killing it. I, I can see him making it all the way. Let's go, GG. Let's go. Good fight with a reflection on Ace with Scotty just kiting out these heroes. Seller oh, cuts him off. It. But, oh, 10 HP, he does die in the end. Meanwhile, mid lane, they actually are fighting this one out. Quinn, one hit. once again, survives on just a little bit of damage. He actually went for that kill, you madman. The block, the shield is just enough. They get Celery out of it, but Mickey, he's going to be in trouble. As soon as Zai dies, they're going to turn all their attention over this guy. The answer the in the land. He gets it just on the tip, Quinn. Oh, we gave up two lanes to Barracks, but now we have this. This will help us win everything. As, oh, Nisha gets caught up by that one. Face shift, he's able to blink away. The Kong's going to be a problem, but he does manage to blink, but straight into the arms of Duraccio. Easily takes up that kill and looks for more. Insane is going to be claimed out. That's a dieback for him. Zai dies right next to the fountain. Yeah, I mean, you got to go with this meta. Five seconds on the cooldown for Mickey. Just praying he has enough time to get this, use it, make something happen. And just grab him. Dies again. Zai. Where's the team? They're all dead. I yeah, mean, meta. It's Mickey against the world. Ace immediately going to jump onto him. Anybody help out Mickey? No chance at a Sunder, and GG is called Gaming Gladiators. We'll do it for the 22nd time this season. They will bring down Team Liquid. They've had their number all year round, and they will prove it on the biggest stage that Dota 2 has to offer. They just abandon you to That's the dream, people. like you click six killers and they don't do shit. Yeah. They just let them farm everything, take a tower. I think they just wanted to kill this wizard. They were like, we have to deal with this wizard right now. Daraccio, a hell of a series you guys played. That was a wild one. Again, Team Liquid, game three, the same thing, and you're here once more. Woo! You thought you were gonna make it through with uh, this one once more? Mm. Versus stick with him in? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like. To be honest, I didn't think about the game at all uh, before the start. I have no stress because I'm, I'm just feeling bad myself. I want to survive. I tell my boys if I'm going to die, like, see why I have to play. So I'm not like, I'm pretty confident before the games and I thought we we're going to win. But like, I didn't have stress like yesterday. No, I don't think I have. I feel any pressure. I'm just doing my job. I'm just enjoying the game. I'm doing what I want. And like, I don't care if I'm going to die or like what's going to happen. So I'm just doing to get fun from the game. <laughs> well, it is a hell of a lot of fun watching you. What do you guys make it space to? I keep doing stuff, but I was like, ah, oh, don't die, don't die. Yeah, like he's so like close. Like sometimes, you know, they're like, they have damage and he's like playing with them. But then he like kills one dude. What are you guys going to do now to get ready for the next one? Choke some medicine, sleep. 
Uh, before the next game. Okay, well, that's uh, fantastic. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give it up one more time for this demon who had complete gremlin mode in that series. <laughs> Thank you. You Thank feeling you. gremlin yourself? Yeah. All right. Can we see the gremlin thing? I, I watched the stream. No. <laughs> I have to chill. Okay, okay, go chill and thank you so much, my friend. It was a pleasure <laughs> seeing you. Thank you. We'll throw it back to you guys. Thank you so much, Slack. Maybe that's how we saw our gameplay is moving on to the Set up for Roche, mm -hmm. but we have no one. Like you know, they're gonna smoke into us. We could see it. We saw Nisha TP. Like they, they're pro. They can, they can see it. I could see it. Mm -hmm. And they didn't, uh, they didn't set up for it. Like they put a ward and they all stuck sat in the pit. And no one went into the smoke. But I think, I think we had that game if we avoided like doing something like yeah. that. Because we were, very, we were like 8k ahead at that point. Oh yeah, for sure. So you guys like, completely now, switched it. It was like 8k and back in their favor plus. Aegis on Luna and Luna got like three of those kills. Yeah. And it was fucking game over. Yeah. Yeah. Well the entire series changed. Uh it was game Roche, right? Roche fight, yeah, right? Roche fight. The Ravage. Zai. Game change. I mean, like you can yeah. just feel it. Oh, yeah, my I'm sorry with the Sometimes torrent. Though. I think the torrent was more important Three -man than the Ravage, to be honest. Yeah, no, the, the yeah. torrent was great, right? It was amazing, right? But it's one of those things where if you replay that moment a hundred times, right? In eighty of those times, Zai plays a bit better in that situation. Yeah. I think we were the better team in most of the series. I think first game we were in a good position. I think the way we set up for the Roche fight wasn't the best and it kind of changed the tides a little bit. Um, they had a really good initiation and kind of completely fucked us. Um, so it was a really good comeback by them and they played that really well. Uh, game two, I would say, um, kind of same situation, but on their end, they had a pretty good lead. Um, we waited for our timings. As soon as we hit those timings, we uh, kind of counter-initiated on them, trying to take our base. Uh, and inevitably won the game and kind of steamrolled them after that. And then game three, I think we were very comfortable. Had a lot of comfort picks. Um, you saw Celery back on his Nature's Prophet doing some magic. You saw Quinn, the best point speed in the world, doing damage on, uh, on mid lane. So I think uh, we had a really good cohesive lineup. Uh, game two, was game two. I think the Ace was a fucking monster on his lone druid. I think it really, uh, I mean, it showed they, they banged the next game instantly because he just single handedly won that game with like a really good harpoon, really good radiance build, not allowing them to get our eggs. Um, and then game three, I want to lean towards uh, Quinn, who you know, dominated mid, which is an, isn't an easy matchup, but you can see him play hyper aggressive in that mid matchup and create space and try to bring supports into the lane, into mid lane, which allowed space for uh, Weaver and and Wraith King to just get farmed up, so I think Quinn really elevated the game in that uh, second game.
like the first guy already. He was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, until he pulled some up. I mean, the, the, the first like five, five people just you know starting there like. And I saw that. Like, oh, no. Beastmaster plus Spirit Breaker. That's a long time. That. Most teams also do really like Underlord that much, and yet you've picked it. In fact, I don't think you guys even like Underlord that much because you haven't picked it this tournament. What's it doing here? I think it fits pretty well, and it's like it's pretty good last pick this game. I think. Like, I'm not. It's not as strong as before. Of course, we had great success with it in like Berlin uh, at the major there. I think we had like. 95% win rate or something like that, so we'll see if we can keep the high win rate this time. Climate Pledge Arena, you ready for lower bracket semi-finals? <laughs> time for game number one. So I'm just oh. three hey three guys, go! Somnus making his TP action coming. Okay. Uh, try everything on edge. He gets delete. Oh, well, he's still alive. The Astral keeps him just barely alive. In fact, he's going to be able to piggy away. Doracho getting healed from the sideline from Tofu. They're going to have to do a lot more healing than that. They're going to be able to kill off the edge eventually, as Chalice is now going to die. And just like that, it's a five versus three. So their racks will end up falling at 18 and a half minutes. 
game and Gladiator is playing way too fast for Azure Ray to handle. Well, another reality rift into this is going to be too much damage, but there, just at the last moment, Somnus gets off the Astral. Neither team has Aegis, and if you're stronger, you don't need it. So, okay. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Okay. All right, that was an Enchantress. No longer, though, another Astral Imprisonment onto the center. He's stuck inside the pit, so he's going to get rooted again. Brought back with the Reality Rift into another route. But the Deadshot's going to keep Quinn away, but still, damage is being applied to these barracks. And Azure Ray not showing many signs of life here. It's Lou on the backside. He's going to try to help out, but he's already lost the Centaur. And now Somnus on the run. All he can do is go back to base. In fact, he might be back to death. The Astraling himself again. The GGs are called. And Gaming Gladiators completely stomp Azure in game number one. Anyways, we should reset. Yeah, because next game we'll like it. To be fair, this guy was very funny. We have no chance. Oh, look, guys. You saw the game? It's so creepy the way it says. What the heck is this? You said you are kind of. Is this new? Did you guys? You saw right now? Yeah, kind of, guys. I'm not playing it on spirits. Guys, GG, you're the best. We're gonna win those guys, okay? Uh, Duracho, very good. I love him. Much love, man. CCPC, also known as CCNC, gonna destroy everyone a bit. He destroyed Nisha. He did a good job. And Antoja, Antoja Finacho. Here you go. Best mid laner, best mid laner. Ace, remember Ace? Oh my god. Best player. For real. Thank you, guys. Weaver is a very good lane matchup into this brew. You have that constant chase down. Uh -oh. oh dear! He's back. <laughs> this is Quinn Callahan in his finest form. The last pick, the 24. Nice. What do you think of that draft? I think it's over. I think it's easy to hold. <laughs> Queen Huskar too strong. Queen's so dirty, but I like it. Let's go! You guys say a woo after I say gladiator. This guy does the whole thing. He go gladiator. One call. Like a war cry call. After after the check is done. Okay, you ready, Andy? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello everyone, I'm Wiz Lanham from Azure Ray and uh, Coach, I want to ask you are you surprised they're picking the Huskar and uh, what's the communication before the game starts? I think the Huskar is very good in the game, but the other team is very good in the game, because they have no control. So we will play the game more easily. Well, I think they get some effect from the first game. They pick Huskar because they win the game one so easy makes them into picking Harskar and uh, hopefully they wanted to win, uh, win us again but I feel like Harskar doesn't really fit to their draft this game. I feel like they are lacking control and uh, we will play loose and uh, we have a confidence. Back to your casters. So Lanham's not going to be too happy with the beginning of this game. Holy <laughs> Jesus! Already three kills for Gaming Gladiator. That was the biggest inner fire I've ever seen. Now Sovnis under his tier one tower will fall as well. A 1k lead at negative 10 seconds. That is just absolutely ruthless. 5k minute four? <laughs> yep, it's 9 to 0 after that pop shot from Tofu. I weave your fate. Duraccio scouting things out on the Azure Ray side of things. The bear going to town onto Somnus. Uses the title with Duraccio. Only popping the BKB. They're going to be able to find FY very easily as Chalice is going to have to use that primal split, but no. He just dies. They're dying one by one, dropping like flies. Triple kill for Duraccio. And now Lou, is he going to die in the footstep of his own fountain? Yes! 
question mark from Terracio. Roche is dead, guys. I mean, they're all dead. <laughs> I got Roche. I'm helpful. GG's are called. Gaming Gladiators with a Gaben shellacking against oh, Azure. My Great. God. How ironic. They waited like three minutes, and then Terracio was like, let's go. While. <laughs> Oh, Roche spawn. Let's end the game. <laughs> Actually, let's not take Roche. Oscar wasn't even there. Quinn was in the pit <laughs> while they were ending the game. Fucking stop. Can't stop the tempo, baby. Can't stop the tempo. Let's go. Let's go. What's up? Did you guys get a chance I started? No. No? The gladiators. Ooh. That's a good one. Let's go. Can I get it? Let's go. I can hear your voice. Oh, dude. That was fucking weird. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. You want your pee? Yeah. Oh. Well, what the hell am I supposed to talk about after that series, man? Uh, that was over pretty darn quick. How are you feeling? Uh, that was so unbelievably aggressive from you guys, who many would say is the most aggressive team here. I mean, many people complain that it's too much late game, too much farming. It's hard to high ground. I don't think it's hard. Now, here, can you finally admit that you guys were just, just memeing during the road to TI? I mean, uh, you know, groups, you were losing games. Were you just pretending? Because now that you're back in front of the crowd, now that you're feeling this energy, you guys are absolutely looking unstoppable. Uh, it would have been cool, but uh, no, we were really bad. <laughs> we, we learned a lot, especially from losing against Talon. I think we were lucky that, that they beat us up. After that, we are a different team. In your opinion, you're a very humble man. I know you're not going to say yourself, even though you probably should. Uh, who do you think brought you that great victory? Uh, I think Anton. He played very, very aggressive. He was feeling really bad all day, but he played really good. Are we going to see you guys in the Grand Finals one more time? I mean, getting, getting there will be the hardest. If we're there, we're definitely not losing. Damn, that's what I like to hear! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for him one more time! Dominant year, dominant game, and hopefully one hell of a dominant day coming out tomorrow. Can you hold it? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, well, I mean, they can hold it. Fine. Can we put it in the room so we can open? Oh, uh, let's hold it. This is fine. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got five and Tusk are cute. Can you like that one? Yeah, I thought six or five minutes. What? That's really bullshit. Yes. Yeah, that's you should get a crimson for every kill. I'm just saying. I got a lot of lucky drops. I mean, Topo at zero. I you got zero. You have zero? <laughs> Bro, you get one for scanning the fucking thing. Topo, cheat. I've made that one. That's on my main. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, you do? I fucked up. I said, I, don't, I didn't think you could do it on main, so we scanned it on our suburb. But you can trade it over there. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. And we would have needed. It's just, it's one unique.